Big Red just went through another humiliation ritual. The only reason why I'm touching up on this is because a lot of people this is, think it's a genuine thing that happened. This is what she told you. It was an accident. Why would she leak her own video? It was somebody else recording. You even got clowns talking about she a black woman and she made it. Man, she ain't make nothing. She was she's an industry plant planted by rebel music to push her agenda. What do y'all like? Use the excuse that you make in skit videos. This is no different than Martin. You think young men don't see your videos and be like, oh, maybe I'll put on a, a, a weed like skin bone. The modern day Hollywood is social media now. Listen, she exposes herself and then drops a song by with Drake. Like, that's just out of nowhere. They have to sell records, bro. Rebel Music put everything on her. The rapper signed to Rebel Music and released her debut project, Ghetto Superstar, but December to local acclaim. But co-manager Rebel Music founder CEO Javier Sang says the team was dedicated to growing her national audience. The whole team. When is a label ever focused on just a whole one person? We treat Sexy Red as a 24-hour, seven days a week business. Boy, a black woman. Y'all want to tear a black woman down. First of all, we not even black. Stop calling us black, bro. That's a classification on paper. Second of all, I'm tired of these sellouts all up in our face, bro. And when all of these rappers and everybody vouch her, that's what makes her relevant. But this, bro, we are in the age of Aquarius, bro. And everything is being revealed, bro. Eventually, it's that veil going to fade off your eyes. And you're going to realize that everybody that's in tune with that is the walking dead. They're zombies. They don't, they don't support life. These, poor, these people support death simple and of course the fans gonna believe anything they say when they get academics to throw water damage on it but the thing about it it's not water damage it was all pre-planned from her acting like oh i didn't mean to do it for academics to cover in the listen this is a marketing tactic the one-on-one bro y'all be thinking like oh oh illuminati in a secret dark room they gonna give it to you in your face they said their strategy paid off when they when they encouraged them to follow up with Tay Keith. So a CEO hit they hit Tay Keith CEO and lined that up. This is all bosses meet with bosses. If you seen sexy red managers, a cracker, it's a white boy. Angelo Saxton with the with the with the no facial hair. Look like an alien. These old billionaires is why they came up. It's not a young black woman winning none of that. You you a goofy. See when you grown, you don't pay attention to this all day. But every once in a while, I see things and I'll be like, hmm, I remember when I was young, bro. Or I remember when I was young-minded. You look at these people like they really celebrities. I'm not saying you uh, you worship them, but you be like, oh, what's Sexy Red doing? Oh, what Lil Herb doing? Oh, what um Chief Keith doing? You just tune in with people. After a while, you tuning in with this, your, sub your subconscious, especially if it's your brain is underdeveloped and you're young, bro. You gonna start to mimic the action. Ski, ski. You think kids don't be running around on ski time right now? All up in the schools, they ain't gonna show you that. Listen, man, y'all ain't gonna listen, bro. Y'all gonna see the the the, the after effects in, in, within ten years, five years.